Hi everyone, Janie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a light up resin picture frame, just like this one here, using this silicone mold and art resin non toxic epoxy resin and a string of fairy lights. So let's get started. Okay, so what I've done so far is I have put the lights inside this mold. So let me turn it on so you can see that there are lights inside of there and I just shaped the wire to the shape of the heart as I went around and then the next thing I did was I mixed up equal parts of the art resin resin and hardener and I like to make small batches at a time so what I have done is one and a half ounces of each giving me three ounces and I've already stirred this for at least three minutes and so now I'm going to pour this into the mold Just wiping that off, getting off as much as I can. And this isn't enough. This isn't near enough. But I'm going around the edges, pouring it over the wires. And basically, I'm just putting enough in here to cover the bottom and to start to hold the wires in place. And then I'm going to put the picture in. Well, actually, before I put the picture in, hold on a second, let me make sure I get all of this out. Um, I am not going to be using a torch because I don't want to take the chance of burning or melting the wires. So I'm using a heat gun. And let me turn this on and get it heated up here. Okay, I'm trying to get out as many bubbles as I can. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking a picture that has been laminated. So this was put through a laminator so that it's protected because with any photo or paper, once it gets wet, obviously, you know, the, um, the wetness will soak through and possibly change the color. So I'm just going to slide this right in there, get it so that the wires are um, on top of it. And now I'm going to use this and I'm just going to press this down in there because if I don't there can be bubbles and then it'll look like that person in the picture is in a fish tank and we don't want that look. So definitely pushing down the best I can. I'm trying to get the picture where I want it. Okay. And now, again, I'm going to use my heat gun. Okay, now that's it for right now because anything else that I add, if I added any color or glitter or anything like that, um, there's a possibility that it could work its way under the picture. So I'm actually going to let this sit for about an hour or two and then I'm going to come back and put the next layer on. And I know, one glove on, one glove off, but I had both gloves on while I was doing the mixing and I haven't got anything on me. And the good news is it's non-toxic. It's just that it's a pain to get off your hands. So wear gloves, okay? We'll be back. Okay, so I put um, a little storage tub over the top to protect it while I was sitting so that um, nothing would get into it. You never know when a fly may decide to show up or a piece of dust decides to float into it. 
but it is looking good and actually I think it needs a little bit more of the um, clear before I add the um, layer with um, the foil pieces that I'm going to add so I am pouring more in right now whoops and it should level itself out and then I have a little bit left in here so I need to start putting it in here this is the um, base of the frame so I'm going to actually take off my other glove to do what I'm going to do and hold on one second so I'm going to be using some silver gilding flakes and it's actually what the next layer of this is going to be but for right now I'm just going to grab out a little bit to put in here back let me take this out oh I just got resin on my finger um, harmless but sticky so I'll probably end up having this stuff sticking to me uh, let me get a little bit more out of here this stuff just flies everywhere if you have ever worked with gilding flakes it just floats and I know you really can't see what I'm doing but I'm putting flakes in here and just it is going to stick to me let me see now nope, I want more in there I'm definitely gonna have to go wash my hands and these flakes are now floating all over my craft room if you guys think that glitter is bad you should work with gilding flakes it just floats in the air um, <laughs> all over it's all over my craft table it's all over everything right now so okay I think that's enough eh, all over me okay before I add that I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat gun again to go over what I just put in here If I didn't explain earlier the reason for the heat gun or if you use a torch is just to get rid of the bubbles it'll you know make them pop otherwise you end up with a lot of bubbles in there okay so oh look at this here's more gilding flakes I told you they're floating literally all over the place besides sticking to me all right I'm gonna stir this up get that stirred around in there and then I'm just gonna pour what I have into this area here just to get it started because I'm also going to be putting layers in here wow I actually had more in here than I thought so <laughs> just use the last of it I guess and so probably I will either put the next layer on there which will be the same as what you just seen me put in here I will probably do that um, before I come back next time so that I'll be ready to put the next layer on I know I'm confused um, who knows I may come back and show me pouring this next layer on but basically I'm doing this in layers so there'll be a clear layer then there's gonna be a layer with with the gilding flakes and then there's going to be a colored layer that also has glitter in it so I'm going to be doing the same thing in there as I'm doing in here and I need to go wash up so I'll be back okay it's two hours later so let's get back to work and the lighting is changing in here as it's getting later in the day so I've already mixed up another small batch of resin and I'll just move this this way a little bit actually and I just touched it again without my gloves okay and now I'm going to add some more of the um, well not add more but add some of the silver gilding flakes 
to this. Whoops, I just dropped a big piece in there. Well, that's okay. Okay. I think that may be enough that I can put my gloves back on right now. So let me grab my gloves. I am going to have gilding flakes all over. Actually, while I was taking it out, every time I would talk, just the, my breath would blow the flakes everywhere. Okay. So let me get this stirred up really good. I was worried that I wasn't going to have enough flakes in here, but now I'm worried that maybe I have too many. Even though I don't think there is such a thing as too many. But we'll see. We will just see. It's kind of everywhere right now. All right. So I'm just going to pour this in here. And these gilding flakes are so beautiful in with the resin. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And as you see, I'm mostly pouring it around the outside, but because it is self-leveling, it's moving to the center. So let me grab this and scoop some more of this out of here. Okay, so now I'm going to let you know that it will probably be about 7 or 7.30 at night when I come back in here to do the uh, the red layer and the lighting is really going to be different but um, well <laughs> it'll still be okay I should have started this earlier in the day and again I'm going to go over it with this probably not even hot yet Okay, there we go. So this is gonna sit for another couple of hours and then I'll be back and we will put the final layer on and it will be tomorrow or the next day before you actually will get to see the finished um, product. But it's gonna show you the lights still work. Okay, so I'm covering that up and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I am back and let me remove that. So I have already made up another batch and in case you missed it earlier, what I'm doing is using equal amounts of the resin and the hardener from Art Resin. And the cup I use is a measuring cup so it has um, you know the ounces or milliliters depending on what size side you're using um, so you can you know easily see that you're getting equal parts and I know I keep making up small batches I like this little cup and I guess I like making smaller batches in case I make way too much I'd rather have to make more so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna be adding some dye to this so let me show you what I'm using I am using resin tint by art resin and it comes in a variety of colors and I am going to be using the red and I'm going to be using a popsicle stick I don't know in my head I'm thinking you know it'll stain my other stick and I can throw a popsicle stick away in reality it probably won't but let me put some drops in here I actually have no idea how much to put in and normally I put in just a little bit at a time but I'm also usually working with um, smaller amounts of resin when I do that. Ooh, it looks like I may have got just the right amount in here. I don't know if you can see that but it's beautiful. Look at that. 
Oh, I love it. I got just the right amount. Holy cow. Okay, I think I might put in one more drop just to be on the safe side. Okay, how about a couple more drops? Okay, there we go. But actually, I think it was absolutely perfect just the way it was. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is actually the first time I have used the red. I've used the blue, I've used the purple. This is the first time I've used the red. And now I'm going to be putting in a little bit of glitter. And I don't want to put in too much. Hmm. I'll stir it up and see how that looks. And ooh, that looks beautiful, but I think I'll put in a tiny bit more. And I'll tell you right now that I will end up making another batch because I know this is not going to be enough for the um, the next layer on the frame and um, for the ooh, let me make sure it's enough and for the base. So you wipe that off, and set that down, and here we go. Now this is really hard because the camera, I am usually don't have a camera, and the camera is like right here in my way. So it makes it really hard for me to see, you know, how much I've got in here because I don't want to put in too much. You know, I don't want it to overflow, but I do want to make sure that I have plenty in there. So, and it looks like I have room for probably all of this. And I'm more interested in going around the edges, as you can tell, than I am about the center because, I mean, it's going to self-level and it'll work its way to the center, but I don't know. I always figured I really didn't want that much behind the picture. So on the other ones I've made, there actually is an area in the back that isn't red. Okay. Looks like this is going to be just enough for the frame. And so I'll have to make another batch to pour in down here to fill that up. But I won't do that on camera because you guys have already gotten the idea of how this is done. And so I'm going to go make that second batch and finish that up. And the next time that you see this will be in about 36 hours when I am popping it out of there. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it's been over 36 hours and we're going to see if this is ready. Um, I am going to take it out. I'm pretty sure of that, but it may not be completely hard yet. There may be just a little bit of flexibility still, so I'm not sure. But just so you know, the frame itself is three quarters of an inch deep. So that is actually pretty thick um, and takes a while to harden. But actually, it feels like it is definitely hard. So let me pull that out. And there we go. Let me turn on the lights. This is probably the best one I have made so far. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then this is over an inch deep, but I'm sure it will be just fine too. So let's just peel this off. I love these silicone molds. They're just so easy to use. And by the way, if anyone is interested in this, I'll put a link below because the set actually comes with two frames, this heart-shaped one and then a rectangle frame. And I don't have that handy right now to show you, but here is the base. And this sits in there just like that, which you can't see from that angle, so I'm just going to kind of tip it over and show you that this is what it looks like. I really do love this. Seriously, I think this is the best one I've made so far. So I'm a little bit jealous because I've already made mine <laughs> and I've already made them for my grandkids and this one is for my niece, actually my niece's daughter. So there we go. 
absolutely beautiful and that is how you make these so I hope that was helpful for you um, I'm not really good at doing resin video tutorials because I hate working around my laptop and my camera with with that stuff and you know getting the camera at the right angle like right now you know trying to show it to you sitting up but it does set up beautifully and then the way I do it with this coming out the back because you could do it out the front I should tell you that you can do it out the front so that when this is laying in here you could put the picture facing this direction but I don't want this sticking out the front of my frames I prefer it sticking out the back so that it can be hidden in the back behind everything and then you just turn it on and it lights up so beautifully oh my gosh okay anyway <laughs> that's it and I hope it was helpful and like I said I'll have a link below in the description box to um, this resin mold which is actually a set and also to um, the art resin that I used and anything else that I've used I'll have links below in the description box happy crafting everyone bye bye